you'll see the knight's attack, so you got to move it. And he was like, well, he won't take my knight because then this pawn can't be defended. So this is great. And the idea is if the knight goes somewhere else and then the rook wants to take the pawn later, then this pawn's hanging. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you play knight f5, that, that pawn ain't hanging. Yeah? Okay. So after this, this looks terrible for white because black's going to play rook takes c3 check. The truth hurts, right? Now, if you've been in my endgame classes before, or you've watched my videos, or somebody good taught you, you were told in the ending you should move your king up. Somebody told you that, no? Well, I did. And in this position, white can move his king up, black not so much. Terrible. Boo. Okay, not boo who be Carlson, the other boo. Boo. Right, exactly. Okay. <laughs> So in this position, since I basically told you what you want to do, what did White do? Moved his king up. Is that a chess move? King G3. King G3. Now if we go back, if Black plays these Vishenzug, Rook takes C3 check, that don't work. Because I go here. Man, now I'm looking good, right? I mean, I looked good before, but now I look great. See the beard? Right. Okay, so he took... King g3 exclam, and now after it takes king h4, it looks like white's moving up in the world, but alas, rook f3. Man, the truth hurts. White's losing all of his pawns, so white resigned. No, not really. White moved his king up again, although he didn't go to h5, he went to g5. That's why he's world champion and you're not. G6. G6. Takes king g5. Man, now white's looking good. Black might be up 400 pawns, but white's going to queen and mate black. Right? Yeah. And actually, this is a very important thing for you to learn in your own end games. Obviously, you're not going to have this exact same position. Well, maybe you will. Okay. But you're not expecting to have this exact same position. What you can do, though, is when you move your king up the board like white is doing, rawr. Okay? And the guy's going to go check, 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 check. It's nice when your opponent's pawn is here, stopping him from checking you. That's very nice. In fact, if this pawn wasn't here, I think that this would be a draw. But the fact that black has a pawn makes it worse for himself, because white's king has shelter. Tartakower obviously doesn't want to lose his rook, so he moved his rook. Rook to... Okay. Now, obviously, white played. King f6. King f6. Threatening. Rook h8. G7. G7 wins, and rook h8 wins quicker. Now, you guys look like you're fine defensive players. Yeah? No. So how do you defend against all those things you told me about? King e8. Yeah, king g8 stops everything. After king e8, g7 still looks good. So king g8, yeah, yeah, see? Yeah, very good. Okay, and now Capablanca played rook g7 check because that forces black's king to a worse square. Obviously, if he plays king h8, when the rook goes and takes on c7, that king's getting mated. If he goes to f8, when I take on c7, I got g7 check. So the g8 is actually a good square for the king because I can't check you. But now when you move your king, I can check you. Now I'm threatening here. And now you might think, Tiger Cower, he was no good. I never heard of him. Rawr. I've heard of him. <laughs> okay. Well, wait a minute. Tiger Cower must have saw several moves ahead. Because how did he stop this? Rookie. Rookie. Yeah. And remember in this position... When he played rook e4 and you didn't know why, now you know why. Because he was ready for this, this, check, here, rook e8. See? Good player. Now what did white do? Hmm. And G7. G7's okay. If I was looking at this with my old teacher, Gregory Kaidanov, he would say, white is winning, and his reasoning would be, black is down a king. That's the worst piece to be behind. I don't think black's king is very active. White's king is pretty active. You, 
Rook H7 check. Could play Rook H7 check. Jeez, you guys like to check. You must be children. Kids like to check. Okay, Capablanca. Play King takes F5 because Black only has one hope. That's his hope. Mm. And now, like most of you in this room, he has no hope. <laughs> King takes F5, right? Now, if you were Black, what would your long-term plan be? Resign? Draw. That's a good long-term plan. It's not going to work, but it's a plan, right? If, if I was black in the other position, I would play f4, f3, f2. Now I don't know what to do. Now I cry. Okay, rook e4. Might as well take the d pawn. King f6, stopping rook takes d4. Check. Also stopping rook takes d4. g7, check. What do you think of that king and pawn ending? Should you play rook takes? No. What do you think of this ending? Who's that good for? White. White. If I click on default kibitzer, will it announce mate? I'm going to say yes. Yes. I'm going to say 19. What? You agree with me? What? Yeah. It's not even announcing mate yet. I must be better than the computer. <laughs> yeah, but give it a second. 19. Pretty good for a random guess on my part. It might get to 18. Boom, 18. It might. Oh. You know, but this is the best move. Right. Wow, I guess pretty good. I guess that's why I'm lecturing and you guys are paying me. I know what it's making 19. Oh, 18. Oh, it thought too long. Depth 46. That's a little harsh. I can't see 46 moves ahead. Darn. Okay, so Tartakower probably didn't like that line because you lose. So he played King G8. King Rook takes A7. And then he resigned because this is silly. Okay. And here he resigned. Now, does it announce mate here? Wow, I'm going to say no. I don't think it'll announce mate here. I'm going to say yes. Oh, it might, it might, ooh, wow, 823. Wow, it's even the same mate. I'll say, um, how can it be, how can it be 19, 19 still, 19. How, 14? Ooh, very suspicious. 13. 13. Announces mate here? Wow. Appears better than me. 12. I thought I was better. So, mm -hmm. in that game, we realized the most important thing was moving your king up. Most people have seen that end game because Capablanca gave all of his pawns away to get an active king. And we know to do that now, but we know because we stand on the shoulders of giants.